Okay. So this is an example of where when I pulled my knot, the tail wasn't all the way on one side, and I pulled my knot through um, um, the uh, end of the braid, and it sort of made a fan. If this happens, it's sometimes difficult to pull through, so you just want to try your best to pull it to one side when you uh, tie up your braid. If it does fan on both sides, that is okay. When you tie up your braid, you're just going to have to try and tuck the ends in on the right as well as the left. So I've got it in the third, under the third crossover, and I just push up. It might be um, easiest to braid the whole mane down and then you can either pull them all up at once or you can pull every braid up as you go. Here I've pulled the knot through the braid, the top of the braid, so I just pull it back down towards myself, separate it, one crossover, one, two. Where's he? If you see, if you find that this the braid is a little bit shorter than the one beside, you can pull the bottom of the braid down a little. There is a little bit of play there. Where's he? Come on. So this one is a little bit shorter. So you can just pull it down to even it out. I've got two left that I'll do. The braids that I do for the dressage shows usually are no wider than uh, my index finger. It all depends on how I've pulled their manes. This is a braid that I cannot pull the yarn um, into and under the braid, so I just have to be careful when I tie it that I have the tail on the inside of the knot here, so it's not sticking out uh, to the right of the knot. The knot has gone over top of it. And then when you do your two crossovers and tie it under, it'll be a little easier to hide it all. Oops, gone underneath first. So as you go to, I guess, call it bumping, you can just push the yarn or push the tail underneath. If, for example, this one I can't get underneath, I just tie it normal. And then I take the excess hair, because you don't want to cut it, otherwise when the mane is long and you go to braid it next time, there's going to be a big um, gap of hair missing. You just can kind of tuck it underneath the following braid, or the, the braid beside it. And I'll do this last one quickly. Here's another one I can't pull through. It's a little crooked. I've pulled it up crooked, so I'll, I'll just take it out and try again. There we go. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to feel sort of the knot um, when you pull it up into the crest, you'll feel a spot where it gets snug underneath your first and second crossover, and that's sort of where you want it to be. So here there's excess, and I just tie it, and I push my thumb against the crest, and it sort of pulls it under with the yarn. There we go. When you go to cut them, Where's my scissors? 
you can pull both pieces of yarn to one side and make one cut. You want to make sure that you cut the yarn really close to the braid. That way you don't have any um, pieces sticking out. If you can't pull them to one side, it's okay. Just do one on each. And there you go. You want to make sure that if you do have any little bits, bits of ends sticking out, um, if they're just minor, a couple hairs here, a couple hairs there, you can just leave those. If it is something that's sticking out uh, significantly, you can just trim it um, as long as it's not too much. Then you'll find the next time you go to braid him or when you pull it out, here's a piece that's a little too much sticking out. And just trim it off. So what you want to make sure is that all your pieces of yarn across the top of the braid are sort of the same. If one braid is a little shorter you can just pull it down. So then when you step off your ladder and you're looking at the main sort of from ground level it makes a nice line on his on Vegas's neck. So if every bump isn't exactly the same, this one's a little flatter than the one beside, that's okay because underneath it makes one nice line. And there you go. Now